What's going on guys, Shane here. Today, we're doing some virtual sparring. Since the launch of our new website, fighttips.com, and since no one can spar because of social distancing, I've been getting a ton of messages from people asking to bring back virtual sparring. So today we got three three minute rounds of boxing. Now, the idea of virtual sparring is just to give you a reference point. So I'm gonna be standing in front of the camera, throwing punches at you. And even though there's no real threat of me punching through the camera and hitting you in the face, I want you to pretend like there is, just like in sparring, just like in competition. So when the punches are coming in, I want you to defend accordingly, and then I want you to land your counter shots back. So let's real quick just talk about some basic defenses that you can do. You got blocks, right? So your guard is gonna be resting right about here, fingers at about eyebrow level. That's where I like to do it, okay? Now, whenever a straight punch comes in, you can block by just using your arms as your shield. So it can be a catch and you can catch the punch with the palm of your hand. You can redirect it with a parry or you can just pillar. Anywhere from the fingertips to the elbow can act as your shield to stop the punch from coming in. Now, if the punches start getting rounder like hooks or overhands, then we're just gonna fill the gap between my forearm and my shoulder by just bringing my thumb towards my shoulder. I can lift my elbow up a little bit, all right, to, to reach back behind my ear and just give me a little bit extra protection just know that that opens up the body a little bit. So how do we block body shots? We're gonna bend the knees and compress or tilt our upper body so that we bring our elbow towards our hip bone, right? So now it protects the ribs and the vital organs with these strong bones here, okay? But notice that my fingertips are still up at eyebrow level. I don't go here, because now I'm gonna get caught, all right? You can also evade these shots, head movement, right? So you can slip to the outside of punches, you can bob and weave or duck or roll underneath of shots, great for hooks, right? Get underneath of them. You can also pull, right? And just lean back away from the shot. So however you want to defend against these shots, whether it's with your blocks, with your parries, with your evasive movements like head movement, it could be just managing your range or you can intercept me in between my combos and catch me in between just like you would in a real fight, all right? So let's keep it realistic, have fun with it, and keep our, uh, our eyes, our reaction time, our defense, and our accuracy sharp. Let's do it. All right, guys, here we go. On the bell in three, two, one. Can't let me hit with that one. Oh, again. Gotta get those points back. Come on. Oh, nice. Thirty seconds. Finish the round strong. Get those points back. Empty up the tank. Try to look for patterns in the way I move. 
Remember to defend. Ooh, all right, nice. Good shot on the bell. All right, guys, from here, let's go squats. Or if you want to just catch your breath, that's fine too. So you're dropping all the way down. Let's get 12 of these. All right, the sooner you get them done, the more time you have to rest, but don't rush your technique, get that full range of motion, drop all the way down past that 90 degree bend, full extension of the hips at the top. Gotta work those legs. Keep the footwork strong, keep the foundation strong. Once you hit 12, you can shake it out, get ready for the next round. So try switching it up now, all right? So if you were head hunting a lot, go into the head, try working the body a little bit more. All right, still utilize your fakes and feints, all right? Fake a shot, throw a shot. And also just make sure you're countering after that defense happens, right? So if it's a parry, make sure you follow up. And try to follow up with two or three to every one that I throw, all right? Think about points and the judge is watching and try to really just rack up the amount of points that you get, all right? So we got less than 10 seconds and then we got round two. Let's get ready. Here we go. Weather the storm. Try to pick your shots in between. Try to intercept. It's not always I go, you go, I go, you go. It should only be you. Make me miss, make me pay. Like I said, start working the body more. Go underneath my shot. Hit me to the body. What's open? What's open? Get the body on the outside with the hooks. Good, try to hit the face now. Good. Body's open, body's open. Ha. Be careful. Get those points back now. Come on, keep working. All right, you weathered the storm. Time to pick it up now. More shots from you. Head and body. Body, go back to the head, back to the body, back to the head. Less than a minute. Final 30 seconds. Time to turn it on now. Steal the round. Two, three, four punches at a time. Body and head. Always exit after your combo. Some sort of defense. Nice, guys, good. Good second round from here, let's just do push-ups. Any modification is fine, you can do it from your knees, you can do traditional push-ups, you can do diamond push-ups, you can do wide grip, whatever you want, but again, we're gonna do 12. Or if you have to just take a break and catch your breath, that's fine too. Full extension on your arms, don't rush the technique. Like I said, the sooner you get it done, the sooner the more time you have to rest. We got about 30 seconds here, and then we're going into the final round. All right? Let's say you won the first round, lost the second round, and this third round here will decide who wins. So really pick it up. Choose your shots wisely, but don't hold back on this one. 
All right, 15 seconds. Body head, utilize the fakes and feints. Try to in intercept me in between my combos. It doesn't always have to be I go, then you go. Like I said, you always go. You lead the dance. All right, here we go. On the bell. That's three. You should have thrown at least three back. I'd say triple the amount. I want nine at least. What's open? What's available? Rush in, rush in. Work on the ropes, on the ropes. Hit the body, hit the body. Go to upstairs now. Stay actively defensive. Good form. Opposite hand is always up. Watch out for the Hail Mary punch. <clears throat> work, work, work. Watch out for the Hail Mary. <sighs> work, work, work. All right, back it up, back it up. Rep breaks it up. Here we go. Finish the round strong. <sighs> Watch out for the power shots. The far and few in between, but you know they're coming. Just pick me apart. You see them coming, big telegraph. Don't let me catch you. Try to evade these. Head movement. Find your range. Work the body too. Pick me apart now. Coming into the home stretch. Steal this fight. Win via KO. Let's go. You still win the fight with the jab. There it is. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Final 30. Everything you got now, empty up the tank. Non-stop punches, come on, come on. Keep punching, keep punching, keep working. Look for that knockout finish, come on. Almost there. Finish strong. There's the finish right there. Excellent work, guys. Excellent job. So right here, you can finish with any core exercise you want. I'm going to give you just a couple of different options. And then you can rewind it. You can play it back. Or like I said, go to fighttips.com. And then you got tons of different options on there. Going against southpaws. We're doing Muay Thai kickboxing. You want to practice defending and counting with your kicks as well. Check it out. Links in the description below. But let's, let's just show you one quick variation that you can do. We're going to do shin taps. So arms and legs are extended. You're going to sit up, slap your shins, and back down. All right, so you can hit that. You can do 12 to 20 reps of that. So we hit squats in the beginning, nice lower body. Then we did our push-up variation. Then we finished with core. So upper body, lower body, and core. But feel free to mix it up. It can be any variation, calisthenic, that you want in between rounds. Way to work, guys. It was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. So if the pace was a little too fast for you, you can always slow it down by just clicking the buttons in the player and just slowing the speed down, right? Go half the speed or a little bit slower than that if you have to at first. This way you can see my telegraph when I pull back on punches. It's a great way to really just catalog what's happening and then you can start to defend accordingly, gradually pick up the pace, pick up the speed a little bit more and then you'll be able to go at full speed, all right? And if you want more rounds, we got kickboxing rounds, southpaw rounds, more boxing rounds, all available on fighttips.com in addition to the hybrid striking course, which goes in depth on defenses and counters and that sort of thing. You guys will definitely enjoy that. So check it out, links in the description below, fourfighttips.com, become a member, it's only seven bucks a month. And if you wanna just try it out for free, we do a 14 day free trial, all right? So check it out, links in the description below. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the underdogs.